is going on guys and welcome to this FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Series. I'm going to be bringing out the FIFA World Rankings. Now, I was looking around on YouTube and you don't see a lot of originality no more. On FIFA these days you see plenty of Road to Glories, pack openings, you see loads of play reviews and you even get Pokemon FIFA. However, you don't see anybody, I haven't seen anybody trying the FIFA World Rankings. Now what I mean by this is that I'm going to start as far down as I can in the FIFA World Rankings at this moment of time and try and make my way up to the top to get to the number one team. On the way, I'm going to be making rules for myself to make it that little bit harder than it already is. Now what I mean by the rules are that there's 208 teams in the world, national teams. Now obviously FIFA don't have all the players in this game so there's going to be lots of teams I'm going to have to miss out unfortunately such as San Marino, Luxembourg, FIFA don't have any of their players however I will start down as far as I can and play with all the teams I possibly can now there's 208 teams out there as I said from team 208 to 80 I only require one win to move on to the next team from 79 to 50 I will require two wins to move on to the next team from 49 to 20, I will require 3 wins to go on. 19 to 10, 4 wins. And in the last 9 teams, I need 5 wins to move on. However, as like I said, I'm going to make this as hard as possible with myself. So, from 79 to 50 downwards, if I lose 3 games in a row, I have to go back 1 team. From 49 to 20, if I lose 2, if I lose two games in a row, I have to go back 1 from 19 to 10, if I lose one game, I have to go back a team. And from 9 to 1, again, if I lose one game, I have to go back a team. Now, hopefully this will make it that little bit harder and make me play a little bit better. Now, as I said, FIFA doesn't have all the, rank, the player licenses or hasn't put all the players out there. So some teams may not have full players, so I may end up playing with a centre-back in goal. The rules for this, I can play any player in any position. So if I fancy sweating it out with a 92-paced winger from a random country... That's what I'm going to do to make myself win. The rankings have been taken from today, the 29th of October 2014. And I'm going to have to start with ranking new, uh, sorry, 131 New Zealand. Now, I can put the players anywhere, as I said. However, New Zealand do have a full team, which is I'm very thankful for. So I'll show you the team I'm going to be starting off with today. And that is New Zealand, as I said. And in goal, we have, if it ever loads, Moss. Bronze player. Mm, decent stats, 64 reflexes, 64 diving, not the worst. We'll go to right back then. I am playing 4-4-2 here, by the way, as I said. Now, this guy, mm, non-rare bronze, he's got 74 pace, but only 59 defending. Medium, medium work rate, not bad. Going to centre-back, and this is where I'm going to hope that these two are my beast players, so I need them to perform if I'm going to win anything. Start off with Inform Winston Reid. Obviously, you can see there, 77 rated. He's a very, very good player. I've played with him many times in my Premier League squads. 75 pace, 81 defending, 81 physical with a high defensive work rate, which is what I need because I imagine on most games I'm going to be on the back foot. Next to him, we have got Ipswich's Tommy Smith. Now, again, a decent player there. He's got some good physical stats, 79. Decent pace, 72 with 72 defending. Again, I'm going to be hoping these two are a car, solid car at the back because I'm going to need them. At left back, we have Lockhead. Tony Lockhead, he's got two star skill moves and two star weak foot, 60 pace, 57 defending, which is awful, and 74 physical. Going on to left mid then, and we've got a very decent player actually, we've got Thomas. Now, he hasn't got the best pace, however, as you can see there, he's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves, and he's got right foot. So I'm hoping I can cut in this guy's right foot and score a few screamers. However, I think I'm asking a bit too much myself there. He's only got 51 shooting. Centre mid. Now we've got, first up, we've got Keat. Now, again, he's got some pretty all-round stats for a bronze. He's got four-star weak foot, which isn't bad. 60 shots, 70 physical, 66 pace. I don't know how he's going to play. Probably rubbish. Another centre mid. I've decided to put a centre attacking mid in there. Howison from Burnley. Another Premier League player there. The 20-year-old. He's got two star skills, three star weak foot. He's got 71 pace, 61 dribbling, 56 shot. Again, not bad at all. Going on to the right mid. Sorry, we don't have a right mid there. Now, I forgot to mention, actually, this guy is a right wing. I will probably end up converting him to a right mid. It is Rojas. Now, look at this guy. This is going to be my main player to attack with. 90 pace, 75 dribbling, 62 shot. He's got four star weak foot and four star skill moves. I'm looking forward to playing with this player. Had to play, pay over 1,000 coins for him, but I think he's been price locked by somebody, which was a pain in the ass to get at. Finally, up front, we have to start off with 
Wood from Leicester City. He hasn't played as much this season in the Premier League for them. Only got 63 pace, 72 shots, 71 physical. Now, his heading isn't bad. However, he's six foot three. But crossing on this game has been nerfed. I'm not much of a crosser. However, I may have to edit my gameplay or my style to match him. Because, to be honest with you, there isn't a lot of pace going up front. Finally, up front, we have Smeltz. 67 pace, 67 shot, 62 dribbling, and 69 physical. However, this guy's work rate is shit. Medium high, he's probably going to end up being a centre mid more, which will leave Wood up on his own. Now, that's the team I'm going to be playing with, and after this, I will start and sh put you into the game clips that I've got. Hopefully, I'll go on and win straight away with this team, and I'll move up. However, I'm not feeling too confident looking at that. The two centre midfielders are very poor, and I've realised that Reed and Smith at the back are going to be doing a lot of work. Now, as I say, this is a new series, guys, so if you like this series, or so if you like this clip that I've done of it, Please, please like, comment and subscribe. I will be doing as many of these as I can. And if you guys enjoy them, I will do it a lot quicker. Let's go on to the in-game clips and then hope I get a win. Right then, let's have a look at what my opponent's team would be. This is my first game with this New Zealand team. As you can see straight away here, he has got in-form Lacazette up front, surrounded by a full bronze French team with Raphael in goal. Now, I could sense straight away this guy, or as I think everyone would sense, he was going to absolutely bitch Lacazette for the full game, and that's what he did. Hunter card on there, I mean, in form Lacazette already had 88 pace, so I knew what was going to happen straight away this game, and I was hoping that Reed and Smith would be able to cope with him. But as you can see here, we're only four minutes in, and bam. Smith decides he wants Lacazette shirt four minutes into the game. He's even more impatient than Balotelli, and the guy has got a penalty. Probably the worst possible start I could have ever dreamed of and as you can probably tell I was thinking the worst at this point I thought it was going to go on I thought it was going to score this penalty and absolutely smash me as you'd expect he gave it to Lacazette and he did end up scoring diving the wrong way there he scored the penalty and I was a bit pissed off myself again here you see Lacazette doing skill it's absolutely shite defending from me to be honest I can't even blame the bronzies or any other player there I was just totally shit and it is 2-0 him after 11 minutes I'm thinking the worst and it took me till 15 minutes into the game to get a shot off. I'm looking through my team there and there isn't really any free kick takers or anything like that. I had a go with Thomas. It wasn't a bad effort considering he's a silver. Now, this guy all of a sudden stopped playing, which is potentially, or is a very good thing, I was, sorry, a very good thing. I mean, I tried scoring here. It was a great save by his keeper. I wasn't really expecting this. He was 2-0 up and I thought he'd probably go on and thrash me, although... As the kid was playing, he wasn't that good. I was a shit. And as you can see here, as sweaty and horrible as it is, I score another and I score. Now I'm thinking, well, I've scored and it's not my fault he's quit. So I'm going to take that goal and let it count. I get another corner and he still isn't playing at this point. He's still whatever he's doing. Probably going to have to have a wank. And then I decide to play on. I mean, there's no point waiting around for him. Put the ball in again and as you can see, Wood, who's just scored the goal, hits the bar. Bit of a scramble in there, then all of a sudden he starts playing. What the fuck? Why would he do that? Get into half time, it's 2 1. You can see there he's had two shots and scored them both. I've had 6 and 5, I've had 56% possession. However, that isn't really a true reflection of the half, as you saw there. He stopped playing for one reason or another. Anyway, we take kick off again. I decided to go on a mental run with Shane Smeltz. Didn't think he was playing. However, there, rinsed him with Smeltz, take it round his keeper, and get in there, it is 2 2. Now, he wasn't playing for the start of this, but then he was playing after that because he saw him slide tackle. He's pissed me off. He's not playing. It's a bit cheating, really. I was a bit gutted. I wanted to try and play with this New Zealand team. However, you can get shoved for being a prick and not playing. Why he stopped playing when he was winning, I don't know. So Shane Smelt scores there. However, as you can see, he starts playing the game. And Lacazette goes on a crazy run. He really was hard to stop. I'm trying to back off him there. Second man press him. Now, I tackle him here, and what the fuck? What is that? He's just stopped and decided to jump on the floor. Maybe he's a grass hugger. Look at that. Absolutely nothing wrong there. I think I'll just jump on the floor and bam. All my lucky and hard work has gone down the drain and he has got another penalty. Again, as you'd expect, he ends up giving this to Lacazette. Now, at this point, I'm thinking the game is against me. And it's not just me who's playing shit here. However, I get the feeling midway through that he's going to go for the same corner. And I'm fairly confident as he's taking, or as he's stepping up here, that I'm going to save it. Lacazette, on his hat-trick, I'm fearing the worst. However, I'm 
uh, I was quietly confident that he's going to go the same way. And as you can see, uh, bam, I save it. Get in there, Moss. The bronze keeper from New Zealand saves the day. Go on the attack here in the 56th minute. As you can see, Thomas, great bit of skill here. Rinses him there. Can't apply the finish. That's his 51 shooting, although his keeper is pretty good. Raphael is a good goalkeeper for France. I start getting on the attack more. I start playing a bit better. I get as well as comfortable as I can with this team and some great football there. A bit of luck and decide, fuck this, I'm going to cross it across the box and bam, 3 2 up, get in there, Wood. Shuts your little prick again. That's what he gets for not playing, really. I ain't going to wait around. In the second half, although I ain't got many clips there, it was a very scrappy game. All he did was give it to Lacazette. I mean, his French bronze players weren't that bad, but all he did was bitch Lacazette for the full game and he did not deserve to win this match. However, he wasn't out of the game yet and they had 20 minutes to hold on. You can see Lacazette again. Fernando chops me there, beats me and I'm thinking the worst here. He's going to score and he puts it wide. I'll take that. Puts it wide and after that, I get through with three minutes to go. I'm thinking I could win it here. A cut inside and what the fuck was that? Well, it's a good job that didn't go in because Smelts would have broken a net there. I'm holding on. There's three minutes to go. I decide, fuck this. I'm just going to smash it upfield. Be a sweaty bastard like he was. And bam. That is it. Full time. There we have it, lads. My first game with this New Zealand team. I mean, absolutely terrible side to play with. They really were shit. Total crap side. And this kid didn't have a bad team, to be honest with you. I mean, Lacazette with a full bronze French team isn't bad at all. And I get the win. 3-2. And that is me moving up to the next team. I'm very, very pleased with that result. I mean, it was a scrappy crap game. However, that kid was absolutely fucking useless. I mean, he stopped playing, and obviously I got a goal from him stopped playing. But I'm going to take it. He shouldn't have stopped playing. He was winning. I deserved it. So, guys, that is it for the first episode of this FIFA rankings. If you've enjoyed this um, YouTube video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what I could be doing better. I know it's a fairly long one. It's 12 minutes. So if you've lasted the full 12 minutes, thank you very much. Most episodes will be a lot shorter than this. It's just that I had the intro. As I was saying, please like, comment and subscribe. You will find out who I'm going to be the next episode and I'll try and get out as soon as I can. So please like, comment and subscribe as I say for the third time there. Thank you for watching and have a very, very nice day.